All right, you guys, now we have our figs on the stove. Okay, so you guys, as you can see, the figs are a bit bruised up, but they are so delicious. We have the green figs with the pink insides, and then we have the regular uh, black mission figs in here. This might actually be a different, this might be a brown turkey. So we've got mixed figs in here. Okay, you guys, so we are going to cut our figs in half. If you're doing a recipe by weight, make sure that you are diligent in uh, weighing your product before you add the other ingredients into it, okay? So like I know that the recipe I'm going by is one pound of figs, so obviously I'm going to be multiplying that up, right? So um, I am going, to, I weighed my pot. I know that my pot weighs three pounds, so I am just going to fill it with the figs and then I will subtract the weight from it. I told the guy that I was a canner and as soon as he knew that, he was like, oh, do you want these figs? They're almost bad, but they're perfect for canning. And I was like, heck yes, I do. You do have to go through stuff though, because this one's bad. See, that's moldy. You don't want to use that. All right, you guys. So for that extremely messy process, we found out that we have 12 pounds of figs, okay? Okay, you guys. So to that 12 pounds of figs, we are going to add 12 cups of sugar one cup for every pound. We are going to add 12 cups of water. Again, one cup for every pound. I like to make it easy for myself and use mason jars to measure because I know that my mason jar, a quart size mason jar is four cups, right? Then we are going to put in 12 ounces of real lemon or whatever brand of lemon juice that you like. And then one tablespoon of salt. All right, we are going to get that cooking. All right, you guys, now we have our figs on the stove and we are going to be cooking them down for at least one hour. We are going to bring them up to a boil and then we are going to drop it down to a simmer and let it cook and get nice and thick. Okay, you guys, we have been cooking down our fig compote. And as you can see, it is almost ready to can. We are just gonna get a little more of the moisture out of there before we jar her up. All right, you guys, man, this has been quite a canning experience through this Denios trip, huh? Okay, so we are finally ready to can our pear compote. We got it cooked down really well. Almost all of the liquid is out of it. And we are going to be water bath canning in both eight ounce jelly jars and in pints. The eight ounce jelly jars, I'm hoping to gift um, this Christmas in baskets and stuff like that. So that is why we are putting them into eight ounce jars and then the pint size jars are going to be for us. All right, so let's get these eight ounce jars filled. We're gonna leave a half an inch headspace. I love to start prepping for Christmas early, especially we like to do a lot of homemade gifts. So if I can start um, checking people off of our list early, Oh man, it makes life so much easier come the holidays when we're baking a lot. Okay, so this one is going to be really important. Um, it's always really important to wipe your rims, but this is just really sticky, so make sure that there's nothing on your rims. As always, I'm going to take a clean flour sack towel, dip it into my hot canning pot, and wipe my rims off. Keeps everything nice and clean. All right, now we are going to get our lids on, fingertip tight. Remember that with the new 
regulations, I guess you would say, on lids. You do not have to boil them anymore or simmer them in hot water. They just recommend that you wash them in warm soapy water before you use them. So just like you would wash anything, right? Okay, we are going to get these into our water bath canning pot and we are going to process them for 15 minutes and then we will be back to fill our pints. Bye. All right, you guys, so around the 10 minute mark is when I like to start um, getting my next batch of jars ready and pulling them out so that they're hot um, and packing them for the next load. Oh man, we couldn't have gotten closer than that, could we? Make sure that that water always stays at least an inch above your jars. If you watched our tomato uh, canning video before this one, you'll know that um, to achieve a good vacuum with the jars, you have to have at least one to two inches of water above the top of them. Here I was worried that, um, that I wasn't gonna have room in the canner for the rest of my jars but I don't have any product left, so that'll be perfect. Um, I wanna say something, uh, inspect your lids, okay? And I know it's really easy to just wash them and throw them in a container. I'm guilty of it myself, I do it a lot. But I have found that several of my lids, um, I would say, it, actually, it was like one lid out of every batch that I was doing wouldn't be sealing and I was like why aren't my this doesn't make any sense out of every dozen jars that I'm doing a lid isn't sealing right well every single one without fail is like a little bit dented on one side like somebody like banged it like you know hard obviously on a counter or against something um and that's not not on jars these lids come in boxes so just make sure that you're diligent and checking your lids when you put them on because you don't want lost product. I mean, it's not the end of the world if one jar doesn't seal, but if one jar doesn't seal out of every batch, it starts to become a problem. I had 100% success on the ceiling with our tomato jars of tomato sauce. We have, we got 39 quarts and one pint of sauce and we got, um, we got 11 half gallons and one quart of tomato juice and every single lid sealed on Sunday and Monday. So it was definitely a good canning. All right, we will be processing these for the same amount of time. It's 15 minutes as it's the same amount as the half pints. And then we will be back to finish up this video. All right, bye. All right, you guys. So here is our final product from our figs. Remember these were seconds. So I had to get them done as soon as I bought them. But I feel good about buying seconds because I know that that would have just been food wasted had I not bought, it, bought them. We were supporting a local farmer and also getting a really good product because super ripe figs are delicious. So we got 12 pounds of figs for $20 and we wound up with 12 pounds jelly jars, half pints, and we wound up with nine pints. So I feel really good about that. I feel good about supporting a local farmer. I feel good about saving the produce so it didn't just go to a landfill. And as always, I feel good about putting the food on the shelves for my family. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And as always, have a blessed day. Bye.